Hello, my name is Nadia Morel, and in this DVD I'll be sharing with you my trip experience of living in poverty. This is my second experience to go to the Dominican Republic on a missionary trip with a group of students to live in poverty for seven days. My previous experience was really powerful, and I'm really anxious to do it again. This trip to me is a reminder of how fortunate we all are every day we're alive. Here I am on the plane getting ready to take off, preparing all my senses and feelings to witness poverty in the Dominican Republic. Porque en ti se encuentra toda fuerza de victoria. Porque el santo nombre de Jesús me liberó. Porque en Cristo mi carga es ligera. Porque en Cristo mi Families welcome their guests with love and generosity. You will be amazed and touched by the warmth and kindness of the Dominican people. De Brian and Simon. Mamá, de Brian and Simon. The population of the Dominican Republic is just over 9 million. There are many ethnic groups in the Dominican Republic. 16% white, 11% black, and 73% mixed. 95% of the Dominican people are Roman Catholic. The official language of the Dominican Republic is Spanish. The Dominican Republic is known as an exporter of sugar, coffee, and tobacco. The Dominican people are very friendly and generous. It is very common that a Dominican person would invite you into their homes to chat or to have a coffee. Be teacher. 
I had, a, I had a very good day. It's pretty fascinating because uh, everyone's just running around and it's a lot of fun. Really good. Like, it wasn't at all like, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect, but today, like, when we came outside, the kids just ran up and, like, started hugging you. And they just, like, jumped on your back. They, like, love it. They love it so much. They love getting pictures taken. It's just been really great. People are so friendly here. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. And for them to come and just join in right away, like, I got outside and they all ran to us, jumped on our backs. Like, it's crazy. Batay's people are a mixture of Haitian and Dominican. Many people emigrate from Haiti, seeking jobs, seeking to work their way out of the poverty cycle. When immigrants arrive, they may find they are not free to leave the Batay and that the conditions are not so good after all. Sugarcane is an important crop to the lives of many Dominicans. Cutting sugarcane is hard work. The workers are forced to stretch and bend for about 12 hours per day in the tropical sun. One of the stories of the orphanage that really touched me was Jacqueline's story. Jacqueline is 15 years old. She joined the orphanage three years ago. At an early age, Jacqueline saw her dad killing her mom. Her dad was sent to prison and he stayed there till he died. Jacqueline had to move with her grandmother. Her grandmother owned a little store, so she was busy working. Where Jacqueline was abandoned in a small room with no windows. Jacqueline was locked in that room for days and days. She wasn't able to develop any social skills. Three years ago, when Jacqueline arrived at the orphanage, she was very scared of people. She would sit in the corner all by herself, never talked. Jacqueline doesn't speak. She just makes some sounds to express her feelings. Jacqueline really improved since she's been at the orphanage. And she has a big progress in her social skills but Jacqueline still likes to sit alone in the corner.
At the end of each day of our visits or activities, we sit with the group in circle and we express our thoughts and our feelings about what we had witnessed each day. It's amazing to talk in a group and express the feelings and the emotions Say 